Welcome back to Paper Mario Files in your door, everybody. Praise be to God on this amazing day. And today we're going to be hopefully finishing up all of those Rogue Port side quests. I, <laughs> foolish me, I thought we could finish them all in one episode. But no, I forgot how many troubles there were at the Trouble Center. And how much uh, of Rogue Port we unlocked. Alright, let's do Arthur's favor. This is Arthur. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor's shop, I need some research done. I need the price of flyer flowers, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Cool. See, he's that guy with the green hair. I'm gonna just double check the prices to make sure. I know Fire Flower is 10 coins. I think Tasty Tonic is 3 coins. Sleepy Sheep, I'm not sure. I think it's 6 coins or 8 coins. And yes, I am a complete nerd for knowing that. Alright, let's see if I'm right. 3 coins, 8 coins, 10 coins. Cool. And the Sleepy Sheep looks weird. So hopefully when I finish up all these requests and get a bunch of coins, I'm hoping I can buy a decent badge from the badge shop. Hey you! Did you check prices for me? Yep. Perfect! Okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for fire flowers? Ten coins. I see. And for sleepy sheep? Eight coins. Okay. How much for tasty tonic? Three coins. Wow, that's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm, even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good luck. 20 coins. Thank you. This is much nicer than the Koopa Koot favor system. Hey, Goomfer. Hey, 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 hey! My name is Goomfer. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza, so come talk to me. Oh, heck no. Fraud is... Terrible. Credit card fraud is my third least favorite type of fraud. Hey, you look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you gotta replenish both HP and FP, oh, you're not the Goomba I'm looking for. Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for a bit, but this guy is too wise, and I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. There are several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this, and then you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. Thanks, dude. You, should, you seem to know a lot about this guy who's uh, fraud, defrauded your credit card. Not very good. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got business with me, scram! What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh! How did I let myself get caught? <laughs> and off he goes. So yeah, this is basically like a wild goose chase that you get lend us <laughs> sent on. I know he's around here so. Is he the one in the house? You got some kind of problem? Think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous no one's snooping around. That house used to be a crime scene, by the way. Alright, where did Larson go off to? What you got? Okay, if you ever have to get Ultra Shrooms or Jam and Jelly, buy them from this guy, because as you could notice, 80 coins cheaper here than it was at the shop in uh, Lower Rogueport City. Granted, he also uh, doesn't sell them all the time, but it's still much better. Cripes! The Fraud Police! You don't give up easy, do you? You can't make me pay! I love how he, re how he refers to you as the Fraud Police. Even after you complete this mission, he'll always call you the Fraud Police. It's great. Alright, now I think he's in the back of Rogueport. Mario, don't jump headfirst through a noose. That's just a really bad idea. There you are. Whoa, Mario! That's the guy! That's Larson, the thief that Goofer asked us to catch! So this is where he's been hiding. Let's nab him and get that reward. Come on! Cripes! The fraud police! Back! We 
Jeez! Oh, <laughs> he wasn't actually saying that. He was making those sounds. Shoot, you're serious. Pfft, fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Hey, 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 hey! Looks like you caught him. Nice, here's your reward. 20 coins. So, since it looks like you're all out of dough, I'll take it out of your hide. Eek! No, please! And he's just kicking his butt. Literally kicking his butt over and over again. Shoot, yesterday I pulled for 200 coins of Pianta Paro. How? You must really suck at the games, or you're playing the wrong games. There are four different games at the Pianta Paro. Two of them are terrible. Uh, one of them's pretty good, and one of them it's like, yeah, that's by far the best one to do. And fortunately for you guys, you won't have to watch me uh, grind those games a ton. Okay, let's see out of these. Koopook? It's me, Koopook, the wandering hide and seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now. Hiding what you <laughs> hiding like you read about. If you find me, I'll give you something good. Think you can do it? Really? So this one is considerably tougher and longer than the other ones, but you also get a much better reward for it. Before I go out, though, I'm going to check the badge shop, because I re there's a couple badges that I would really like to get from that badge shop, and they're relatively inexpensive, too. Like, some of the things from the badge shop are over 100 coins, but some of the good stuff is actually, like, 30-something coins, maybe 70-something. Pretty good. And I see one of them is here! Alright, this is the one I wanted. Piercing Blow. Delivers damage that pierces enemy defenses. Very good for high defense enemies. Yes, please. I also have Sleepy Stop and some other stuff. But Piercing Blows, that's the one that I really wanted. Honestly, it's not super helpful in the next area, but in the area after that, it's very good. Alright, time to find Koopook. We gotta go back to Hooktail Castle. Oh shoot, hang on. Before I go, storing some items. Alright, storing HP drain, fire flower, thunderbolt. Because we're going to Hooktail Castle, we're going to need Koops' help. Something very good there. Actually, we're going to get two great things for doing this favor. One that we could have gotten in our first visit to Hooktail Castle, and then the thing we're actually going to get for completing uh, Eren. So I'm just going to avoid all the enemies in here since they don't really give me any star points anyways. Darn it. Let's run away. Tap A to build up the meter. And it's honestly pretty random whether or not you will successfully run away or not. I lost a few coins, but that's okay. Paratroop is really annoying. They're fast and I get the first strike all the time. I don't know how he caught me, but I may as well power shell the Jesus out of these guys. Because Dull Bones still actually give me a decent amount of star points. And hey, 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 we get a Fire Flower. Oh, yes, please! And I'm building up my star meter as well. See, those stylish moves really do build up the meter a decent, a good amount. I have no 
idea how Koops does a levitating hover shell move, but he does it well. Oh, that's right. I don't yet even have the ability to get that star piece yet. Koopas are like, yay, you're killing dead Koopas! Alright, this is the room. Stick to the left side of this platform. Yep, there he is. So if we fall down here... Blast! So, you found me. Curses! I felt sure n none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop. It was a hobby, but I kept it hiding, and soon I was known as the Hide and Seek Koopa. Koopook! I thought it was you! We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high! Koops? Is that you? Yes, Koops! The same Koops who always had to be it when we played Hide and Seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day that I decided to become the hide-and-seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've hid and snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. Yep, that was a crazy day. But since you found me this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. And we get the special card, a parlor card that lets you play the playing game at the Pianta Parlor. I found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. I guess I've still got a lot to learn about hiding if you found me, Coops. Ouch! <laughs> it was nice seeing you again, though. See you later. And we solved the trouble. And we get a life shroom, which automatically revives us with 10 HP when we run out. I'm not going to be using it, of course. Now we can take a nice little shortcut out. Okay, next favor to do. We're gonna help Mayor Croup. Will someone please come talk to me? Please? I'm waiting at the pink house in Petalburg. Ah, oh, he sounds lonely. We better help him out. So this is also a very, very bad... Um... <laughs> Which my god, this is not this does not give you a great reward, but it's also very easy to do. As long as you're okay with trekking through petal meadows to where Mayor Croup is. And I have business in Petalburg anyways, so this just works. Darn it, Mario! Alright, first thing I'm doing in Petalburg is I'm going to go into this shop. Cause there's some stuff I want to do here. So right now in my inventory, I've got um, six fanes. I'm going to store my life shroom because I'm going to need it later. I'm also going to come here and buy four courage shells. I already have one. So this should give me a total of five courage shells. I'm going to need that for the last favor we have to do. And I, I think I still have one inventory. Yeah, I still have one inventory slot open, which is good. <laughs> I'm going to need that one extra slot for this trouble. Hey, Koopy Koop. Do your best, dear Koops. I'll be waiting for you. Thank you. Well, well, Murphy. You must have gotten my request. Good, good. Truth be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax with me for a bit? Indulge an old Koopa. Whew, to tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. 
Their tempers are too short for their own good, for one. Makes me want to smack them. Their tempers are short? <laughs> Why, I was shopping at the Toadstool Bro Bros Discount Super Shop of the other day. I was trying to pay, and my coin purse was stuck closed, and the kid behind me said, Hey, geezer, want to pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down? Now, I may be a geezer, but the sundown was clearly taking longer than I was. Clearly! Speaking of sundown, reminds me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. Always had to have her some home by sundown, yes sir. Her pa was an absolute maniac. Yep, I'd keep my eyes on the sun and off the face of the my missus, gentlemanly, eh? Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of blinding in a painful sort of way. Heh, <laughs> just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. Heh, <laughs> isn't memory grand? But that's not what I was talking about. Now, where was I? Hmm... Oh, that's right. Kids today, they know nothing about patience, I tell you. I want to stand up and yell, Hey, you punks, be more patient right now. Speaking of which, I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yep, she was leaving on a train and I yelled it from the platform, like in a movie. Now, uh, what was it that I yelled to her? Something about her shell, maybe? Right. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I stayed from my main point again. Oh, wait, did I? Anyhow, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shells, I tell you. Mario, stop sweeping. This is, a, this is a good story. No, wait, my point was something about kids today, right? Nah, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet missus, the way you combed my eyebrows. Such tenderness. Huzzah? Oh, sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you get my point. Sorry you had to listen for all that. Wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I'm just happy to get a little face time with the youth of today. Aww. Oops, I forgot to set out the tea. Aren't I an old ninny? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water part. Awfully sorry. Yeah, our reward is a turtle leaf, which you can get by shaking the bushes outside. Yeah, boy, if you cook a turtle leaf, you can make some amazing tea. Oh, and if you change your mind, you can come back and yeah, listen to me app any time. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Yeah, I'm still free. Take a chance on me. I think that's the second ABBA reference I've made in my Let's Playing career, which is a little weird because I'm not even a big ABBA fan. <laughs> in fact, I think it was the exact same song that I referenced. Pretty sure that was my Lemmings Revolution Let's Play. I need a wife, don't I? <laughs> How is that I remember all this stuff about my weird various Let's Plays? Alright, that's the last time we have to go to Petalburg for a while, though. Next time we go to Petalburg, we will have a faster way of getting there. I have, like, no money because I had to buy all those courage shells. The reason I bought the Picard shells before accepting the favor is because if I didn't, I would have to trek all the way back there. I'm just glad I happened to have one curd shell already in my inventory, otherwise I would not have been able to afford it. Our st shop inventory is low and I need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Rookport Square. That's the last one! And about time to... And this time he's in the mood. Hey, dude. Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Ah, you've accepted my trouble, huh, fella? We're having a really hard time finding courage shells. Because I bought them all. I need you to bring us five from anywhere you can find them, okay? That's five courage shells. I'm counting on you. I got them. Ah, thank you. Ah, thank you. Ah, thank you. That's five. You're done. Well, here's your reward. I hope you like it. We get an Ultra Shroom! A Feel Great Mushroom restores 50 HP. That's our first of many Ultra Shrooms we will be getting in the game. But also, we're probably not going to get another one for a while. So treasure it. Anyhow, we're going back here. Cook me something. I'm going to cook my turtley Leaf. I love the recipe system in this game, it's very nice. With two exceptions. 
Actually, with a couple exceptions. Alright, now I'm gonna cook the Ultra Shroom I just got. And we get the Shroom Steak! A tasty dish made by ST replenishes 30 HP and 10 FP. Yeah, so I didn't bring up. So in the journal, you can look at recipes. It shows you a list of all the recipes you have made and a list of all the ones you've yet to make. So as of right now, because we can only cook with one ingredient, we can't get a whole lot of them. You can also look at the badges here. Because there are duplicate badges, this is a nice way of showing which ones you've gotten and which ones you have yet to get. <sighs> yeah, they did a great job ma with managing the inventory system in this game. Lovely. Anyhow, let's explore more of West Roomport, because we didn't explore all of it last time. This is an interesting house. Oh, I didn't know there were Koopas living in Rogueport. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed, doing nothing. Oh well, I am rich after all. <laughs> How did you get rich by loafing in bed all day? Are you a programmer? But even then, you can't get rich as a programmer by loafing in bed all day. You have to work in bed. If you know what I mean. Oh, Mario! That card! That You got a member's card! Okay, I'll prepare the minigame for you can play with that member's card. How exciting! We can now play the playing game. So... Every time you get a new card, you unlock more prizes that you can get. So, for example, we can now get the Power Jump Badge and the Refund Badge. As well as those two. Just thought I'd show that off. Alright. This is the last place we have to explore, then we can go to the second area. Oh, hey, dude. I tell you, I just like standing here, gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better. But if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. This train is bound for the luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? May I? Wonderful, if you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. I'm sorry, but only ticketed passengers are allowed on the train. Security measures. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. Someone's a diehard romantic. Oh, hey, Jeep Jeep. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Can I? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. I'm awfully sorry, but you must have a ticket to board the blimp. No free tours today. Everybody wants me to pay. Everybody wants me to pay in this. I want it for free. <laughs> I deserve it for free. Even though I don't. I think there's a star piece back here as well. Yep, thought so. Alright, we're finally done with the side quests. Let's go to the second world. But first. I need to show you guys more. And this is actually slightly en route. I'm going a slightly different way to the second world, but this will still take me to the second world. And it'll explore more of the wildlife. And by that I mean the underground city. It, that's wildlife, right? Yes, I can see that star piece in the background, but I have no way of getting to it yet. Alright, yes, through here. Hey, Spania. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm close to getting a level up, so I didn't mind wasting a little uh, FP. So this is kind of like a mirror uh, of the other side of Roadport. So we got a slow shroom in there. Oh, hi, Spania. Yay, we got a Spinia as well. Kubella can make short work of him. Yep, because I leveled up Goombella, she now deals two damage per head bonk, which is awesome. And inside here, Gradual Syrup. Not very useful, but we can find a use. Oh shoot, this is not en route. I forgot. I lied. I totally lied. I thought there was a. I thought we could find a way, but no. We need the next partner before we can reach that way. Yep. Yep. I'm out of here. Peace. And fortunately, we got the shortcut now. Mario, did you see that? That was one of those things Professor Frankly described. Let us go back here. Hey, what up, dude? Eek! D don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. No, leave me alone, you big meanies! Mario, how could you? Don't say, don't you say that to him. That wasn't very mature. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Really, we're not here to be mean to you, honest. For real? Whew, boy, that's good. For I thought for a second I might have had an accident. You're one of those creatures from Boggly Woods, right? What are you doing here? What? what Why do you know about me? No, you, you, you must be. You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots Easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We're not going to do anything to you, so just chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves the x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here looking for help. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked in us in Rogueport, right? If they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Stars. Now that you mention it, they did say something about this, some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... Uh, what was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, you'll, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you! Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? I guess. I mean, we can't just ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those X not X whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much! This is great! I'm so happy! My name is Punio. Nice to meet you. I always thought his name was Puno. I don't know why. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said that some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! So one cool thing you can do, you remember the badge you saw up on the platform over there? Well, let's backtrack and get it. Hey, we get the damage dodge badge. Decrease damage by one with an action guard, a uh, guard action command. That's a very good badge. Boosts your defense. Let's see. I am going to unequip Happy Heart and equip Damage Dodge. I think I will. Uh, no, I don't need Piercing Blow because as right now, Power Smash basically does everything Piercing Blow does. <laughs> nice crack in the floor. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going for that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. That is one gloomy looking pipe. Chapter 2.
to the Great Boggly Tree. So this is probably my least favorite world in the game. It's most people's least favorite worlds. It's very gloomy. These are the boggly woods. They sure look boggling. Ooh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too! Come on, let's go! So welcome to the boggly woods, everybody. Mind-boggling, aren't they? They're basically like the flower fields of the game. And that's where we're going to leave the episode f uh, for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Forty. Tune in next time. We'll be exploring the Boggly Woods. Have a great day, and God bless.